Hey DIYers, George here from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to enter programming on a partitioned IQ Panel 2 Plus. First thing I want to go over is what is an actual partition for those of you who are new to this. A partition is a sectioned off part of your alarm system that is individually controlled or separately controlled from the rest of the alarm system. So for example, let's say I have a shed in my backyard, I have a detached garage, and I have a work office in my house and I want each of the sensors in those areas to be on their own separate partition. Um, that when you set those sensors on their own partition and you can actually create user codes and you can get very in depth with it but basically you can make those sections um, separate from the rest of the house if that's something that you guys wanted to do and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get into programming to enable partitions what changes on the panel when you enable partitions and some things to look out for uh, so the very first thing you have to note in order to get into programming if you're on a partition IQ panel 2 plus you need to have either your installer code or your dealer code now these two codes are important for adding in sensors um, enabling and disabling certain features on the system that have to do with chime, supervision, just pretty much everything that the system can do, those settings you will pretty much find in installer code settings and in the dealer code settings. Um, the installer and dealer codes, they, when you have the panel brand new, they're defaulted. The installer code is 1111 and the dealer code is 2222. If you have the system, you're trying these codes and it's not working, either you may have changed them and just may have forgotten about it or your actual alarm company maybe have changed them as well. Um, it all depends on who you use. Us at Alarm Grid, we usually like to leave these codes defaulted just because in case anything ever needs to be changed, we can help you guys out very easily. And um, in case you forget it, we know the default codes. So just make sure you have your installer and dealer codes. They're very important for you guys to have whenever you're looking to add in your own devices. So right now, I'm actually in my installer partition. But basically, what's going to happen when you guys do set up partitions, you're actually going to see here, it says partition one. I can scroll up partition two. I can scroll up partition three and partition four. Um, I want to show you guys real fast how to enable partitions before I get into some specific details on this. So you need to know your installer code um, and you're going to hit the little button at the top of the panel. You're going to go to settings. And when you go to advanced settings, mine's not going to do it because I'm already in the installer partition. But if you guys don't have partitions enabled, it is going to ask you for your installer code or a dealer code. That's where you're going to enter in the 1111 or the 2222. Or if none of those work, you need to get the code from your company. All right. <clears throat> so we've entered in the code. It brings us to this screen here. Um, this is actually our installer menu. Our dealer menu has like maybe two other options at the bottom there. Not to worry. We really just need to look at installation, which is going to be on the top left. You, after you go to installation, you're going to go to installer settings. Here's where you're going to enable partitions. You're going to scroll down. It's towards the bottom here. I don't want to miss it. There you go. Partitions. If you don't have partitions enabled, you're going to have a blank box. My partitions are enabled. So um, let's say I turn it off real quick. I turn it off real quick. If you're enabling it, you're going to get a little box. Yours will probably say, are you sure you want to enable partitions? You will, you will say yes. I'm just going to hit cancel because I don't want to mess up the partitioning that I created. And then from there, um, it'll bring you out to the main screen. Now, something important about partitions is if you guys are adding in sensors, and there's four partitions, by the way, um, that the IQ panel has. And the IQ panel has to be on firmware version 2.3.0, I believe, or higher. Um, but basically, if you guys don't have any sensors in any partitions, the partitions will not appear. I actually went in and added in the sensor for each partition so you guys can see all four of them. But if you guys don't have sensors added in, under any other partitions, they will not appear. So if you, all your sensors are under partition one, you will not have the option to scroll down to partition two, Select arm system type. whoops, <laughs> partition three or partition four. All right, 
So you have to have a sensor if you want to control the partitions. Um, one other thing that's going to change, when your screen goes dark, let me show you an example, lock screen. When your screen goes dark, right, let's say there's a timeout, after a couple of seconds your screen goes black. Um, the way that it changes now is you would have to tap on the screen to bring up a pad and on the pad it's going to ask you to enter in your code. This is where if you're looking to get into programming on a partitioned IQ Panel 2 Plus, here's where you would enter in your installer or your dealer code. I can do 1111 and it'll say good morning installer. And then from there it'll take me to my installer screen. Um, and again, it's only going to ask you for that code upon wake up only if you have partitions. If you don't have partitions, you do not have to worry about that keypad uh, showing up. Let me show you guys again real quick. Um, so since I'm in installer menu already, I can just go to settings and advanced settings. It's not going to ask me for a code because I already entered in my code to unlock the panel. But let's say, let me go back to the main screen here. Let's say I lock the panel screen and I'm going to switch to partition number number two, right? So I made that code one, two, three, two. That's the code I created for partition two. Good morning, DIYers. Um, and you'll see here now it says I'm in partition two. I don't have the option to scroll up or down. Um, and I also am not going to have the option if I go to settings, if I go to advanced settings, it's not going to give me the installer options anymore. That is only given to installer or dealer. And that's when you unlock the panel with either of those codes. All right. So again, the way that you enter the programming menu in a partition IQ panel 2 plus is one, first, you have to have your installer or your dealer code. And then two, whenever it asks you to enter in the code, you just got to enter in the 1111 or the 2222 or whatever your company has changed it to. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit that little bell icon so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George and I'll see you guys next time.